In my previous videos, I've shown some concepts of robotics like inverse kinematics, object detection using OpenCV, pick and place, and PID control using ROS. Next, I thought to make a project out of these concepts which can be useful in day-to-day -day life. Then seeing my mom in kitchen chopping onions, I thought why not automate cutting vegetables using robotic arm. Okay, let's do it. I have divided this task into two parts. First one is a chopper, a knife that can move up and down to cut vegetables and a robotic arm that can place the vegetables under this chopper. So as the first task, I have modeled a 3D design for chopper in Tinkercad. This is the 3D model of the chopper. I have modeled this as a Lego type so that I can fit these parts together after 3D printing them. These are the base and support structures of the chopper. These are holders that connect parts together. This is the motor casing. The motor will rotate this small gear, which in turn will rotate this big gear. The big gear is connected to this shaft. which makes this cylinder move up and down between this slider. The cylinder is connected to this holder which holds the cutting knife. Let me dismantle the chopper and show how it is connected. I have 3D printed all parts and assembled them. Small gear connected to motor, motor casing, base for motor casing, support structure for big gear, printing the big gear, Both gears connected and working. So this is how the vertical motion is achieved. I have got this chopping board to get the knife out of it and connected it to my design. Now let's see how the chopper is working. Okay, this is how I expected it to work. Now it's time for testing this thing.
Okay, the chopper is working good enough for let's say the first version of this project. This 3D model is for version 1 of this project which can cut vegetables only in vertical direction. Well, I have a complete idea to make an advanced robotic chopper which can cut vegetables in desired sizes and shapes. But I'll put it in next version. For now, I'll focus on completing the second task of this project. Now I'm 3D printing the 6 degrees of freedom arm for the second task. That is to pick and place the vegetables under the chopper. Hope you liked my idea. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos on robotics. You can also check my website on www.rossroboticslearning.com for more stuff on robotics and ROS. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again once the 6 degrees of freedom arm is ready for action.